Yes, I do. Uh, I'm not really good driver, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I drive around uh, Sejong and around the place, yeah. <laughs> because I live in the capital city and um, the traffic is really bad, the traffic jam I mean, and it makes me really tired. I didn't know about I didn't that. Know that. Yeah, I didn't know about didn't that actually. That. But that's a really good. I really expected. <laughs> Korea mm -hmm. has is is ready in terms of uh, accommodating autonomous technology. I know that Korea is really um, ahead about technology. It's good for Sejong in mm -hmm. itself, yeah. So mm, makes sense, I guess. New city, new chance to experiment with those kinds of things. Mm. First of all, flying. <laughs> yeah, flying. Yeah, my first thought is flying, but most <laughs> recently I've been thinking about electronic vehicles, mm -hmm. just more green vehicles, maybe vehicles that are run on solar energy mm -hmm. would be kind of cool to see also. 공원 한가운데 도로를 6인승 셔틀 차량이 미끄러지듯 출발합니다. 모니터에는 카메라와 센서를 통해 얻은 외부 상황들이 실시간으로 점점이 really cool. 표시됩니다. Yeah. 도로 턱을 만나면 속도를 줄이고 Oh wow, they think for themselves. That guy's brave. He's very brave. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would do that. I wonder if they chose that for a particular reason. Yeah. It's hard to know which is the back, which one's the front. It's very cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool actually. Watching this video makes me want to try it actually. It makes me want to try it and see like what the experience feels like. It is it's very, very cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. I really want to try it. I definitely want Who to try it. <laughs> Who wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> and I think certainly for maybe the older generation who have been used to driving their cars uh, for so long, it may be unfamiliar, right? Mm -hmm. Like it might be uncomfortable, but um, for the younger people, maybe they'll be more comfortable with it. You actually, I think that um, the younger you are, maybe the more uh, open you are to like new technologies because you're so used to having this technology being developed. Just sitting there and just enjoying. Yeah, the whole I'm experience. gonna enjoy the view. <laughs> I always picture like sitting around with friends or family, just like I don't know, playing a board game or reading books. If I had an autonomous vehicle and I was a passenger in it, oh my gosh, I would sleep or like watch movies or just kind of like mm -hmm. have time with my friends. Like road trips would be yeah. very very cool concept, especially with autonomous vehicles. 차량 예약부터 도로, 차량 모니터링 등 모든 과정을 관제 oh, so 시스템이 5G를 통해 담당하며 9월 yeah. 공원 That's 개장과 impressive. 함께 셔틀로 기능합니다. 이와 함께 세종에서는 역시 9월부터 BRT 등 실제 도로에서 oh 최고 100km까지 hey. 가능한 14인승 버스가 fast, 고속 주행을 시작합니다. 또 BRT와 so 주거 단지를 cool. 연결하는 저속 자율 주행 차량도 역시 실제 운행을 앞두고 있습니다. 세종시에서는 국산과 프랑스 업체 등 모두 여섯 종의 차량이 도입돼 내년까지 지역에 맞는 최적의 모델을 찾게 되며 앞으로 일반 버스나 지하철처럼 자율주행 차량이 유료로 운행될 날도 머지 않아 보입니다. TJB 강진원입니다. Before I came to Korea, I didn't know much about like the smart city. So when I came to Sejong and I saw what a smart city looks like. If you look at the systems around in terms of transportation sector, mm -hmm. digital uh, technology, Sejong is on the right track. I think Sejong will be, especially for like new smart cities, mm -hmm. I feel like Sejong is definitely like a pioneer in that. It's going to be really interesting to see how Sejong kind of becomes like a premier smart city. Mm -hmm. I like that premium <laughs> <laughs> A lot of car accidents happen every day you know, around the world. At the end of the day, it's just going to come to, can we get the technology to a point that matches that level so we can get the benefits of it? It minimizes human error. You know, like for example, falling asleep at the wheel. Mm. With an autonomous vehicle, you don't have to worry about that. Versus, you know, with you just, you driving, you always have to be constantly aware of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. With an autonomous vehicle, that kind of takes that worry off of you. Even though it's, it's quite positive to look at it positively, but there are 
a bit of challenges that lie ahead. Mm. I don't fear anything about it because I think it will be beneficial for me. I think the most important concerns to be considered is the safety, but if they can address it, then yeah. autonomous vehicle it is, I will go for it. Yeah. If you are in autonomous um, vehicle, you can just do anything. Like for example, if you want to have a meeting, you can like see through the slides and practice and anything while you are on your way to get to your places. I think there's a lot of excitement about it. You know, having driverless cars is going to mean um, maybe a lot more comfort and convenience for passengers. Um, I think the traffic flows can be smoother. By having kind of like these autonomous vehicles, like this green energy, like all this type of uh, all these type of initiatives, mm. we're really helping kind of to build our own environment and build our own frameworks to be sustainable. And I think Sejong represents that in a very good way. Mm.